They're off in the untappable stakes. And there's like Edema. West Omaha on the black cap. Fibber bid rank needs to settle. Here come these bids from Band of Gold and right there, Alpine Princess with the rail. Sistina Chapel in the early stages has dropped back to last with seven furlongs to go for Florent Giroux. Alpine Princess right to the front. It's Alpine Princess who takes the top from Legadima and that great tracks. As they go to the back of the track, West Omaha running in third by a length as Fibber comes up outside of Band of Gold with the rail and Sistina Chapel still trails. The Snakes Sextet, the quarter, 24.27 seconds. Easy lead this for Alpine Princess. Alpine Princess nicely out in front. Martin Garcia keeps Legadima focused in on Alpine Princess, moving well to the half-mile pole. The band of gold looking to draw in with the rail. West Omaha is in between Phillies. Fibber's bid is on the far outside, and Sistina Chapel trails still seven lengths from leader to last, and Alpine Princess continues to lead the field through a half mile in 48.29 seconds. Three furlongs still in front of Alpine Princess, who now leads Legadima by two. Legadima being driven to assert Alpine Princess at the quarter pole. With on the outside, West Omaha toward the rail, band of gold. Fibber on the extreme outside, up the rail, Sistina Chapel comes. It's Alpine Princess has led them a long way through three quarters in one minute, 12.81 seconds. Down toward this final fairgrounds furlong. We have Florent Giroux. Alpine Princess leads West Omaha by five. Sistina Chapel's now through into third, and Legadima's a leg-weary fourth. But coming past the 16th, Alpine Princess had the firepower. Alpine Princess to win the untappable by two. West Omaha was second, Sistina Chapel third, and Legadima finished fourth.